One, two, three, go! Ciao guys and welcome back to Lampies. So today we are going to talk about a topic that has been a little bit of a problem for us. Lobola. What is Lobola really in African culture and how much did I pay for my wife? Welcome back to Lampis. As you have seen from the title, today we really wanted to discuss about something that I think is also one of the things that's very challenging in our marriage or also most interracial marriage, especially if you're married to an African. And yeah, we are ready. Some comments were already in the on our wedding video. How much did Ali pay for the bride? Amazing. <laughs> so, so Lobola, yes, yeah. you have to pay for the price. Yep. If you are African or if you have any African cultural heritage, you know what Lobola is. Is the money that the groom need to pay the moment he's getting married to the bride, to the family, of course. Wedding. That is really something important for African culture. Every single time before you even you get your Christian married at the church, you have the traditional married marriage, the traditional wedding, sorry, the traditional wedding, and you need to pay this money to the family of the bride. Do so, what is really Lobola? Hey, are you interviewing me? <laughs> yes. What is Lobola? Tell me. So, basically, like, like you have said, oh God. What the hell, though? <laughs> okay, Lobola. No, okay, that was bad. We need to cut it off. <laughs> <laughs> should you really be ourselves or should we be anything? <laughs> no, no, I think. Anyways. Okay. Lobola is the price you pay for the bride. Mm -hmm. It's an appreciation. To You just want to show appreciation to the parents for raising this woman, you know, into a good person. I don't know. It's like a gift. Thank you for making. I think you also pay for them for just making the the wife for you because they made the wife obviously. And they erased their wife. Oh. Yes, and they paid school fees and all these things. So it's just a gift. And this usually take place before the white wedding, which is like everything that you see on YouTube now when we're dressed in white and all this. So before that, there's all usually uh, a traditional wedding, mm -hmm. which is. The paying of the lopora, then you're allowed to do, uh, you can either do it small or a big one. And then after that, you are ready. You're so before we start with the video, I want to know from you guys, how much do you think I paid for this beautiful girl here? No, I'm joking. I just want to know, do you think it's fair to pay lobola for somebody that you love? Anyways, yeah, paying for the bride. So, the parents give you permission to take the bride away from home. Like, go away. <laughs> <laughs> give me my money and then... No, it's not like that. So, do you think it's... Are you open to paying Lopola? Do you think... No, I mean, of course, I know that you're open to paying Lopola. You married me. But do you think it's fair to pay Lopola? To be honest, from my point of view, I would say not really. Because why should I pay for somebody... That I'm love in love with. I don't know. It's just weird from my perspective. But you have to understand that when you marry somebody, you need to share and you need to be open-minded about the other people's culture, and especially if you want to be in a multi yeah, a multicultural relationship. So uh, being uh, open-minded and accepting of the other your partner's culture is like a fundamental required or a fundamental requirement if you want to go ahead with your relationship so i would say yes but not because you should be like in the mindset that you are paying lobola as a gift as a gift and as a sign of respect for your wife culture yeah. you shouldn't pay lobola just because and 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 you you are in the mindset of in which like no I'm paying because I'm paying for her physically. You are not paying for her physically. You are gifting her, respecting her culture. That that is my opinion. So if I get you very well, you think you don't necessarily think it's fair, but you 
feel it is important to do that just as a sign of I respect your culture. Oh. Not that I'm paying for you as, as, as an item I mean, or something like that. To be honest, the first time that I heard about Lobola, I was like, what the hell? Because, you know, I'm Italian. I'm not used to these kind of things. That's but, not a deal breaker either. No, no, it's not a deal breaker. But then I was also talking with my mother about that. And she told me that back in the days, mm -hmm. also in Italy, that used to have these kind of things, actually. Like, in okay. 100 years ago, when you get married, the wife need to... But th that was actually the opposite. So the wife need to bring the daughter. daughter. That is like uh, uh, you have an apartment or you have a house. But that was the opposite. Like the bride should have this if ah, she want okay. to get married. I should have a house. Should have a house oh, or the family okay, should put something. And, uh, and, uh, and, and they said the, the husband... They should take care of her, then they should pay for everything, uh, like, uh, of course, all the expenses, all the, the, the payment ah, of okay. the wedding. Mm -hmm. uh, so, from the male side, from the groom side, every everything should be paid, like, all the bills should be paid. For the bride side, you have the, fa you have the house, ah, because okay. the house mm -hmm. is, like, the symbol of, uh, of the family is when... Since the woman is the center of the family in Italy because it's the one taking care of the child of, I mean it was it used to be like that. It's not like that anymore, but it used to be The ma the mother is the center of the family. So it should be the center of the family is the house That's why back in the days it was like that. So I mean once I heard this story I also think okay, you know, it's kind of also this is weird. So I guess you should just respect your partner culture. You don't need to make a huge deal out of something that is cultural. Okay, that's my so point. culture, respect it, and that's it. And I like that you're open-minded and you like that because otherwise it would have been very complicated. Now, the thing of Lobola, let me just give you a little bit of explanation. Apart from just giving a gift, because I think now most of the time it's just interpreted as a gift. The other part of the Lobola was always as a, as a sign of the two family unite and come together and they now, it's more like a reunion of the two families. Mm -hmm. So this, this exchange of gifts mm -hmm. that symbolize like we are now reunited and we are now mm -hmm. one family, not only when you are together as a, as a couple, but I think also if, even if you happen to divorce, which was very, very rare back mm -hmm. in the day that people divorced, and but also day. after death that, yeah, we are still an entity. Mm -hmm. So this was some sort of also reunion between the family. You know, I'm not against the Lobola, and I think it's a good gesture that you are open-minded to also come in and say, Limp, you know, I know we're not from the same culture. Don't understand this very well, but I just want to respect you and your culture and do it. Mm -hmm. Fine. I personally feel like at the moment, maybe Lobolas are not as valuable as they were before or as meaningful. Back in the day, I feel like it was a must and people needed to pay as much as they could afford because it, there were big changes after marriages. Do you mm. understand why? No, tell me why. Let me give you an example. For example, at the village when my parents got married, as a woman, you leave your family wherever you were. You move in into your husband's family's house. So mm -hmm. Now, whatever you, you do now financially is your contribution from your work. Mm -hmm. How you spend your money, you're now spending it, cultivating the field of this family, taking care of anybody sick in this new family, or also if you're cultivating the field yourself, physically you're doing everything in this family. So I feel... The other parent obviously need to be somehow compensated because this helper who was in their house anymore as their daughter is gone. Mm -hmm. Yes. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. I think there it was absolutely very meaningful. It makes sense. But I'm thinking now where if you just, both of you live in the city, maybe people shouldn't charge that much. Yeah, of course. Because you don't necessarily leave your family, you still, you know, People are living now more, especially in my country, people are living more open-minded. And you, you would go to the 
back your family and still support. And also back in the day, it's still like that in most of the African country. The woman is the central, is the, you know, the person that keeps everything, food on the table, cultivating the field, buying groceries and all these things like that. So when they are taken away from their family to the other family, it's, it's a big loss. Obviously, they have to 20 kettle, 15 kettle, even if it means paying one kettle every year or every six months, because sometimes mm -hmm. you have to take a loan if you can't afford to. I mean, yeah, and yes. do you have interest rate like... Uh, no. The... <laughs> do you think old people in the village have interest rate? No. Kind but I think, you know, if I'm thinking if one of my uncle was like a banker, I might... <laughs> no, no, I yeah. wouldn't say... Yes, yeah, so every <laughs> three years you have to add one kettle... As interest. As interest. Yeah, with a drought, if everything... yeah. No bad. That would not be that. Or, or do you know what influences the the price of the lobola? I think uh, you told me already that uh, somebody that gets high education should be paid more. And uh, you told me that yeah, that that's basically it. also on the beauty of the of the of the woman. I like guess if a woman is more beautiful, should be the bit the lobola should be more consistent. Let's let's say like that. So this is this is interesting because beauty is also defined in you know differently by different people. People look at you know like for me very very expensive. I have about four degrees. <laughs> you have to pay the rest of your life. <laughs> so <laughs> they look sentence. at yeah how educated the woman. Obviously, if, if you do it the way most people are doing it, how educated is the person? You also want to look at how beautiful. Interesting when I was one day when I was discussing with my friends about this mm -hmm. in other countries in some countries They look at how light is the person? Yes, in so terms of skin. skin skin complexion. So oh, the girl is so racist. Yes, so the girl it's not I don't think it has anything with races racism. It's more like um, So that is a depreciation in your case because you are really dark skinned. <laughs> thank you, babe. Oh. Thank you, but it's not but the thing is it's it's not I I don't think it's racism but I think it's more like uh, in in some culture people mm -hmm. view or look at the the girls that have lighter skin as more beautiful than one that are darker. Okay. So these girls get paid they are very very expensive. Mm -hmm. Now the other something that is quite challenging or complicated is that the families when like for my parents they have only two girls they will be very happy because they only get. Mm -hmm. We only get stuff, you get mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But if you have only boys, mm -hmm. imagine family where you have like four boys, mm -hmm. six boys. Wow, you'll be broke by the time they're home. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> for because sure. who is helping the husband to, no, to pay Lobola? The, the family, prices, to be honest. The prices of the Lobola in some families are extreme and you have to pay probably for five years to finish that. Oh my goodness. You are talking about? We're, we're still talking about Lobola. Mm -hmm. And although I think in Africa, Lobolas are expensive, I know that in Asia, when I, last time we had a discussion with our Asian friends, mm -hmm. they ask a lot of money. Now, mm -hmm. when it comes to money, they don't ask more than, I mean, more than Africans. And the, good thing, the problem is only that some of them ask gold. Oh, really? Yeah, like you have to bring a lot of jewelries and stuff. And then maybe, you know, like, um, obviously... Some kettles, maybe 10. Depending 10 on, kettles. I don't know, 5, 10, depending on how educated the person is and how beautiful the person is. So and many of kettles. course, you need to bring some bottles of liquor for the discussion. Because it's ah, usually liquor. an intense discussion. You want and to... you need to be drunk. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. But so they, I mean, they I have, you I have never money. been part of the Lopola because usually this is only the big people in the family, like the uncles. But the the groom should be there. The groom is there, but the bride is never there. Ah, the bride is never no, there. No, no, no. Because usually this the two family just meet in the. So, so what, depends the, how good the liquor is. Yeah, the, more, the, the, the best. <laughs> what I heard from my cousins and my uh -huh. friends that are guys, they say the trick is you probably want to take some strong liquor. Mm -hmm. So maybe you allow people to drink a little bit while they're just they might just loosen up a bit and you maybe lose one or save one or two or two kettles <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes review time we're ready Let me just so do you want to know how much i paid for this beautiful lady i paid 